Hey you guys and welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your readings for cross watchers only. So this is for if you are dating a Sagittarius, not for Sagittarius sun signs. So don't confuse yourselves um, if you are Sagittarius and watch this video. <laughs> I just, I'm trying to cut down the confusion. Okay, so this is for the cross watcher. Those of you who are dating a Sagittarius, um, and if you are a Sag dating another Sag, it'll make sense to you. Okay, so here we go. If it resonates, great. <laughs> if it doesn't, maybe next time. Okay, let's see what Spirit has to say to you about your Sagittarius what your Sagittarius may be feeling or going through, what they may be experiencing. This is for you, cross watchers, okay? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's the message, please, to Sagittarius's cross watcher? Those of you who are, who are dating a Sagittarius, getting to know one, engaged to one, yeah, married to one, What's going on with Sag? What do they need to hear and know about their Sagittarius? Oh, let's try that again. <laughs> what do they need to hear and know about their Sagittarius? Yeah. Okay, okay. Remember, this is for the Cross Watchers. Cross Watchers reading. Okay, so what's going on here? Sun, the fool, okay, major arcanas and knight of wands. Lots of fire energy here. Hmm. So there's a feeling here like of freedom. Like I just feel it. It's like, ooh, freedom. <laughs> Which is of course sad typical of Sagittarius, you know. Sagittarius, um, they like to be free. They do love their freedom. Um, and they're kind of like the wild card <laughs> in the Zodiac. Um, but yeah, it's like a feeling of freedom. This person is happy being free or happy off doing their own thing. They could be very busy at this time. I feel happy. I feel happy. Okay. <laughs> we have the sun card, which is Leo's major arcana. You could be a Leo watching this video for your Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be. We also have the fool here. Yeah, it's like a, f a feeling of freedom, of liberation, of going off and do venturing out to doing their own thing starting a new beginning your Sagittarius is very very happy and this is just what I'm getting so far <laughs> so far <laughs> um and then we have the Knight of Wands here this energy of the Knight of Wands so hmm <clears throat> they could feel <laughs> Don't get offended, but your Sagittarius could feel like you are, I do feel this energy of maybe chasing or you may be coming after them a lot for some reason. Yeah, look, at the bottom of the deck, we have the tower, Scorpio energy. Lots of Leo here. We have the tower and the strength card. So something could be happening un unexpectedly with your Sagittarius. They could be needing to reveal something to you like un unexpectedly or out of nowhere, something happens with the tower. Something is very difficult. Yeah, all these major arcanas, right behind those we have the star card. Hmm, let's see what this is about. Let's dig in. Why is the sun card here? Let's clarify. Oh, okay, something did come out. Four of swords. Ooh. <laughs> so your Sagittarius may be, um, may be more happy going into a, 
uh, a mode of not wanting to talk, they could see you as not wanting to talk to them or wanting to break up. Yeah, tell me more about the sun card here for your Sagittarius. Tell me more about the sun card. Why is the sun card here? Chariot, yeah. Ace of Wands, Seven of Cups. Hmm. Yeah, I've maybe this thing, this is like taking off really fast or took off really fast for them. With that chariot energy, you could be a Cancer dating a Sagittarius. You could be watching this video right now with their major arcana coming out. But the chariot is like fast moving energy coming in victoriously, something moving ahead. Ace of Wands, something starting very passionately like a really good new beginning, a new project, a new a new thing happening with your person and then the 7 of cups. It's like there may be some type of uh confusion there with the 7 of cups, there may be some type of confusion your Sagittarius feels with this it's it's almost like everything was moving forward or everything is moving forward and then we have this like passionate new beginning and then seven of cups it's like what someone either keeping their options open or there's some confusion here about what this is about what this connection is let's look deeper into this why is the fool card here why is the fool here for your Sagittarius why is the fool here for your Sagittarius why is the fool here Queen of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, the High Priestess. Mm, at the bottom of the deck, the Eight of Swords. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Did y'all have uh, some type of falling out? <laughs> Did y'all have some type of falling out? Because we have the Queen of Swords here. Okay, this is my Ice Queen. This is the Queen that shuts off emotions goes off and does their own thing they become cold mm. your Sagittarius may feel like you're upset with them over something um, or they may be upset with you and then we have the ace of Pentacles that shows me that an offer came through so we have two aces on the board now so a solid offer came through but it's like someone <sighs> mm -mm. with that high priestess Someone is being secretive about what they're doing. <clears throat> Your Sagittarius may not let you know um, that an offer is coming through or they're offering something to someone else. Um, but let's see what this is. I do want to clarify that Seven of Cups. What is that Seven of Cups here for? What is that Seven of Cups here for? Mm, okay. King of Pentacles, the Moon, and the Five of Pentacles. Okay. So it's like your Sagittarius. There, there may be a fear of this actually going somewhere, or just a fear of being in a relationship right now. Your Sagittarius may want to keep their options open. Um, when you get the King of Pentacles, it could represent like someone uh, being a boyfriend or a girlfriend or someone you've been with maybe for a couple of months, a year or so. And then the moon represents fears, the unknown. So there could be a fear here with your Sagittarius over being in a long-term relationship Um and or they may fear that if I'm with you, you're going to leave me. OK, with the five of pentacles energy, someone is afraid of getting ghosted or afraid of being left out in the cold. OK, so they may be keeping their options open. That's just a heads up. But yeah, it's like, again, with that queen of swords, with that ace of pentacles, the offer came through. But then almost like some somebody got scared. 
someone else had this energy. I think it was Scorpio. Yeah, I think it was Scorpio who had this energy as well. But um, it's like some someone went quiet or the two of you, maybe the communication wasn't right on where you stood. Yeah, maybe they your Sagittarius didn't make it clear on where the two of you stood or where you stand right now. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Okay, what wanted to come out? Yeah, Page of Pentacles and Knight of Swords. So the two of you, the communication could be um, a little rough right now between you and your Sagittarius. Uh, Page of Pentacles representing like talking, communicating, um, exchanging text messages, calling each other, or just having a conversation, period. And then the Knight of Swords as well, representing like communication coming in rapidly. Um, it could be like angry text messages or something of that nature. So it's like, mm, there could be some immature energy as well. The two of you uh, could have children or share children. That's for some of you at the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Swords. Yeah. So someone is afraid. Uh-uh. Yeah. It's like your Sagittarius did something to piss you off or make you want to like tell them something. That's what I feel with that Knight of Swords. That's like an angry energy. Like you got upset with them. It was something that they said or something that they did to make you upset. What's the Knight of Wands? Will of Fortune, King of Cups, Ace of Cups. Yeah. Okay. Mm. These are all amazing cards. Will of Fortune, King of Cups, Ace of Cups. Okay. I feel like somebody is chasing the other person. Your Sagittarius may feel like you are chasing them or they want you to chase them. This is what they want you to do. They may breadcrumb you or just give you, send you like a little text message or something. A little uh, com communication here and there. That's what I see with the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles, that's like a, a text message, uh, a phone call. And then here you come like, okay, you know, you're all excited only to get pissed off because this is what you do. Let me show you how that full card and that Knight of Wands was here. So it's like, you go, you know, coming after your fool over here <laughs> who's off doing their own thing. Who is not being clear with you with what they want. I feel like this Sagittarius is not being clear with exactly what they want. Okay? You may feel all of these feelings. I don't feel like this is your Sagittarius's feelings right here. So the Will of Fortune with the King of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Uh-uh. <laughs> Y'all, I, I think uh, you may end up with that Will of Fortune saying in the future, you may end up moving on to someone new. You may end up, you have a decision to make with that Two of Wands. They may have put you, the Sagittarius may have put you at a crossroads because I don't feel like they're being completely open and honest. Let me see. What else do you need to know? How does your Sagittarius feel about you? What else does the cross watcher need to know dating a Sagittarius? How does Sagittarius feel about this person? How is Sag feeling about this person? Yeah, let's see what else. Let's see what else. Hmm. Yeah. Look at this. All fire sign energy. Page of Wands. They feel like uh, every time they communicate with you, Queen of Wands, they, they get someone who's pissed off. They get someone who may, they may seem like uh, controls them in some type of way. You may get angry with them very easily. Um, 
with that five of wands energy, the two of you may fight a lot. I sense it, I feel it, and here it is. Your Sagittarius may feel like you argue with them too much or you're dramatic. They, they may feel like you're dramatic with the five of wands and the queen of wands. That's my usually my sexy queen, but that's also my queen of a person who takes initiative, a boss. So they could feel like you're bossy or you're, you're a person that doesn't take crap. <laughs> and that, that may just be the truth. You're a person that doesn't take crap and they know that. But because they're a fire sign, it causes arguments, okay? You could be a fellow fire sign. I was picking up Leo and I was um I see a fellow Sagittarius, like two Sagittarius is dating, or you could be dating an Aries. I mean <laughs> you could be dating it. You could be an Aries dating a Sag is what I meant to say. So yeah, there's like a lot of fiery energy between the two of you, but I feel like neither one of you are willing to back down from an argument. And this is what you get. Here we go. Look at that. King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Queen of Swords already came out. Both of you end up being defensive and cutting each other off. You may even block this person or they may block you. Um, this, this energy is for February 2021. So one of you may end up ghosting or blocking, especially with the Four of Swords coming out and the Five of Pentacles. You may end up breaking it off with this person or they may break it off with you. Okay, let's get some advice over here. Let's get some advice. What's the advice for the cross watcher dating a Sag? What's the advice? Oh, I usually don't read these in reverse, but when they shoot out in reverse, I read them that way. This could be the one is in reverse. Okay, so I don't think you feel that way anymore. You may be questioning your Sagittarius's motives for being with you. The both of you are being very defensive with one another is what I see. What else do we have? What else do we... Okay, uh-uh, it's too many cards. Yeah, sorry. That's like seven cards that all flipped out. It's too many. Okay, I'll take the one that flipped over here and then one did fall out in front of me. It says, you deserve love. Yeah, you deserve love. However this person is acting, the two of you could be a different race from each other as well, which creates misunderstandings. There could be an age gap between the two of you. It also says chemistry. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I see that with the Ace of Wands. Things started off quickly. The two of you could have had a lot of chemistry or the two of you, sex is what could be keeping this together. Only in it for the sex. Sorry, let me move on to the next deck here. Let's get some more, some more advice in this situation. What fell out? Spread your wings. Yeah, you need to take off. Mm -mm. It says, do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. Some of you may need to leave this situation behind. Spread your wings and fly, honey. Look, teaching and learning is at the bottom of the deck. So you may have had to go through this to be taught something, to learn something um, in this situation between you and this person. Let's get an angel oracle for the advice for the cross watcher who's dating a Sagittarius. What's the advice, please, in this situation? Oh, okay. Yeah, too many, but we had two flip over right here. It says helpful people helpful people. So you may have people around you telling you like, hey, you know, eh, I don't think this person is a good fit. I don't think that, you know, you may have people trying to help you out, help a brother out, help a sister out. You may be having people around you that are trying to give you good advice. Um, so spirit is letting you know you have people around you that are telling you um, some good things, but you know, you may not have listened up until this point. Also, get more information. 
get more information. If if you really want to talk to this person, the two of you may end up talking, but I see that it may turn into an argument. But you may finally get the answers that you're looking for or seeking for. At the bottom of the deck, it's up to you. Sorry, y'all. The sun just like... <laughs> I, I guess it was cloudy and then the clouds moved so the sun like illuminated everything. Yeah, how befitting. <laughs> like I said, you may get the answers that you want. Something may be illuminated in this situation. So it's up to you. Okay, so these are direct answers. I like doing these. Take it as it resonates. So should you stay with your Sagittarius? Should the cross watchers stay with their Sagittarius? Should the cross watchers stay with their Sagittarius? It says yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. So that could mean that this is, you could be going through a rough patch with this person. This may be something that you need to overcome. Um, the two of you are very defensive toward each other. But anything is possible if you get more information, if you decide to work it out. That's up to you, okay? Some of you, I feel like some of you will choose to spread your wings and leave. And others of you will choose to stay and work this out, okay? Because there is a lot of passion and chemistry between the two of you. Alrighty, you guys, so that is your energy for your Sagittarius and those of you who are dating a Sagittarius. So I hope it resonated again. If it did not, maybe next time. So don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Also share this video and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monet Tarot. I look forward to hearing from you and have a great one. Take care. Bye.